to reveal in three, two, one. Oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't show you quite yet. We'll get to that right away. Guys, welcome to Running Joe Off Road. We're here in for a good time. Running Joe Off-Road Fam, uh, just doing a quick update for the Jeep. There are lots of things on order. This morning's been a very busy morning. I just placed the wrong order with Summit, so I'm actually on hold right now with them to make a change. And I want you guys to stay tuned. I'm actually going to keep the video running here, and uh, we'll end up making changes as we go. You might see a dog or two poke their head in on the video. Don't mind them. So you guys stay around and I'm sure we will be back to it very quickly. By the way, don't make mistakes like I just did. I'm probably going to get charged a restocking fee. I ordered the wrong thickness of push rod. Luckily I caught it before it shipped this morning. Uh, yeah, that said, if you uh, get what I'm saying, that's why I say this is probably going to be a three or four part video with the Jeep, considering I just said push rods. One eternity later. Just got off the phone with Summit. Everything's all fixed up. Sorry, I should've just left it on record, but I didn't want to burn up all my battery today and all of my footage, because I still have a lot to film today. I'm gonna to be doing two or, three, two or three videos today. This one's probably gonna come out like Sunday, maybe Monday, depending on when the wheels. This is gonna be in with the Jeep the Jeep wheels reveal um, probably near the end or the start um, yeah so I hope everybody's having a great Friday it's Friday for me I'm finally off nights it's day it's 9 a.m. I'm uh, looking forward to getting everything going showing you guys some great content anyways let's get this day started and uh, I will be talking to you guys soon welcome back guys so we're just at uh, Canadian Tire it's our uh, part supply in Canada, if you are watching from the US. And just looking for a bronze that is gonna match the powder coat I had done on the wheels. Um, I'm gonna tell, I'll probably be taking a gamble on this, eight, on this $17 one. So we're all done at Canadian Tire here. And uh, we are got some paint here. This is uh, to, again, paint the center caps. The center caps are unfortunately plastic. They're not aluminum. Um, I did expect that. It's a set of replica wheels uh, like I did in the wheel exposure on the cops. Um, I haven't shown off the paint color yet. Likely speaking, I will be black and whiting the footage from before and this footage uh, just so you can't see it until the very last second when likely they're on the vehicle. Um, I will leave a teaser out because uh, I think I left a certain barcode exposed but we'll go from there uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the footage today I'm hoping the audio works out I'm trying out my uh, DSLR it's a couple a few years old but I've got most everything I should need so let me know in the comments below what you guys think and uh, hopefully we continue on this trend well guys wheels are picked up I'm uh, running a bit behind. I meant to take photo or video picking them up, but honestly, I haven't worked anything with the de dealer yet on filming. I'll probably do a bit of filming here, there for them. Uh, Dodge Denim Chrysler, thank you for hooking me up with a great price on both the tires and the wheels. Um, they'll be definitely seeing more business for me. But for now, I'm going to put you guys back down and uh, focus on driving and I'm probably going to go get my kid and then drop off the tires and pick up the wheels and we'll go from there.
to forget me, okay? Okay, roll it. Well guys, that's my daughter. I was not gonna introduce her to the channel very quick. But what you guys can see here is I picked up some Nitto Hinvos, 315, 35, 20. There was a lot of discussion. Gabby, you wanna stand next to it? Yeah. So that is four tires. And my daughter, who is four years old, is almost as tall as three, 315, or four. 315s. She's taller than three 315s. I uh, a lot of discussion about these Nitto I'm Invos. Taller than this high. And uh, the Z rated. They have an inner and an outer. And uh, there was a lot. I said, like I said, a lot of discussion about how we, what tires I wanted to go with. I talked to quite a few individuals. And uh, again, Denim Chrysler hooked me up with a great deal. Here's Rexus, here's the Tundra. They uh, hooked me up with a great deal. I honestly, like I said, I just, I couldn't turn it down. Daddy, I um, like supporting bike local so. is important to me. Yeah, I want to have my bike, so. Uh, supporting local is important to me. And uh, I could have gotten it cheaper out of the city, I admit it. But uh, it really wasn't much of a difference. And by the time you factor in the traveling or shipping, it really wasn't going to uh, be any different, so. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the content so far. We will be back shortly with more Jeep Wheel footage. The next day. And that's how you fit four 315, 35, 20s, and four 20 by 10 wheels in a Grand Cherokee Eco uh, SRT.
So I don't know if you guys know that, but they use a force. So it's like driving on a road. Just back, Fountain Tire Lloyd Minster here, just trying to get these all balanced up so we can officially show you guys the color. They are gorgeous. Tim does a hell of a job. Good pick on the color, bro. Oh, man. When I saw it yesterday, I couldn't believe it. That is gorgeous. Seriously. Mark's going to be a 5x4.5, which is a 5x114. Oh, yeah. Like bolt pattern, right? <laughs> bolt pattern's right, but I think the powder coating for the hub oh. is a little off. Yeah, it'll mess with the paint a little bit. I meant to tell him to not not do that side, but... Just in here? Yeah. That's what's going on. Nothing major, though, when you zap them off. Once it's zap, it'll, it'll pull it right in. Pull it in. Uh, so don't put those back on. What are you doing? No, you have a custom set you want. Three, one, and right there. Basically extra protection. Oh yeah, buddy. And those are six ones. The other one. Yeah, they're just the standard gorilla. Yeah. It's basically going to stop somebody from attempting to steal them. I think that's the best way to do it. Hell yeah. Need three different keys to get them off. Oh, buddy, he's going to go through that. That is big boy. 24. Bigger! One inch! Holy fuck! There we go. One and a quarter. One and one sixteenth. One and one sixteenth, probably. One and one sixteenth. We'll need to know that in the car. <laughs> I just know that that other style is pretty easily breakable. Which one? This that, one? The uh, no, no, that one. That is, these break off, but these are easy to get off. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not the hardest to get off. Smack a 17 on. And everybody pretty much carries a six ply, unfortunately. Yeah, well, it's the most popular lug nuts out there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck, guy. I just need to step back and take a look at that. I had to step back and take a look and went, oh,
That is a Highland or Prismatic Highland Bronze Powder Coat. And I, on a Trackhawk replica wheel, each wheel, or each wheel of the rim itself, weighs 32 pounds. Each tire weighs 34 pounds. 66 pounds per corner, whereas factory's about 90. It is on fire. And as you can tell, there is a huge difference in the sun and not in the sun. I really hope you guys enjoy this because uh, I know I am. The man, the legend himself, Tim, hooking me up at Fountain Tire Lloyd Minster. And I tell you, I cannot get enough of this. Like, yeah. Like, holy. Wrapped in Nitto Envo 315 20s. They should stick to the ground a lot better than uh, even the 295s. Like I said, I've smoked the tires in the rear before. So, hope you guys enjoy the reveal and we'll be chatting soon. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Sorry, I forgot to film an outro again. I should have done it in front of the Jeep. Didn't do it. My dad. I'm loving it so far. While you got a moment, please subscribe, watch one of the two videos, and enjoy the last 10 seconds here of uh, the wheels. So I lost a bit of the footage. Here you go.